Hey guys, it's me, APRT123. Before the gameplay starts, I just wanted to let you guys know that this video is a little bit different than other videos. Uh, just, just a bit of a uh, quick disclaimer, uh, a game uh, developer, an indie game developer, reached out to me to record this video. He asked me to record a review and some gameplay of his game, Epic Pros. So that is basically what this is. Um, in the beginning, it is just basically gameplay. Um, with some narration by me, you know, your favorite YouTuber of all time. And then at the end, there's a review of the game, a formal review, and I must say, I love the game very much, but with all games, there comes tweaks that need to be put in. So I do think that the developer has done a great job, yet the game is still a work in progress, and keep that in mind if you guys do decide to play it. If you guys do want to play this game, Epic Pros, there are links to the game download in the link section in the description below. Check it out, and thank you to the developer for letting me try out his game. Alright everybody, welcome to Epic Pros. I'm APRT123, and today we're just going to play this chill text-based game. RPG, it's an RPG. I've never played a text-based game before. Um, so don't judge my skill because I don't I don't know how my skill is gonna be so this game was created by Matt Timmermans and it is in version 4.3 it is still a work in progress game so don't expect everything to be perfect so let's get right into the action the text-based action alright so main menu we gotta we gotta load a new game alright so this is the story you live in a small peaceful village in the land of Epica one day you were out exploring after hiking for some time, you stop to rest your feet. You wake, it is dark, black clouds are in the sky. You hurry back home to shelter. As you get closer, you see light coming from ahead. You realize it's not storm clouds, it's smoke. Your entire village is in flames. By the time you reach your village, all that is left is burning rubble and ash. No survivors, nothing. The only thing that could have caused such a destruction is a dragon. Watching the burning embers of what was once your home, you vow to avenge them. You will slay the dragon. Ooh, that's pretty good. I like this story already. Boom. So we know it's sort of like in medieval times where like the dragons and stuff, although dragons never really existed. I like this. I like this story. I'm a good visual visualizer, so I can see all this stuff inside my mind. Enter my name. My name is Aiden. What a tragedy, a small voice says. You turn around to see a brownie walking out from behind a tree. What? I'm Harold, nice to meet you, he says, extending his small arm. You bend over and give him a finger to shake. Are you new to the land of Epica? Yes, I am. Welcome to the land of Epica. You can go to the forest, the town, the caves, the ice mountain, and the dragon's lair. The weaker monsters are near the forest and town. Since you are new, I will keep an eye on you. If you need some help, just type commands for a list of commands. Help for more detailed help and hint if you are really stuck, and I will tell you what you need to know. You should look around the area before you go. There's got to be a weapon laying around somewhere. Type look and then get slash take item to add to your inventory. Then type equip item to equip it for battle. So we gotta type look. You are surrounded by the ashes of what was once your village. You see a club. So, get club, ooh, and equip club. All right, so my club is now equipped. Amazing. So, uh, man, where should we go? Where should we go? I don't even know where to go. Uh-oh, bandit got the jump on you. Oh, no. All right, I'm going to attack. Aiden attacks bandit. Oh, okay, I roll... Five, Aiden. Oh boy, I missed the bandit. Oh, bandit turn. Oh boy. Oh, what should I do? Disarm. Use item. Uh, disarm. Oh, I took a short store sword from the bandit. Whoa. Wham. Bandit got a critical hit. Bandit dealt Aiden eight damage. Oh. Oh boy. You need the dragon's bane sword to hurt the dragon and ice and the ice armor to defend against the dragon's breath. You can buy the sword from the dwarf at the caves, and you can get the armor from the ice giant at the mountain. Potions heal 50 health, 
You can buy them from the witch doctor at the four. Sometimes monsters will drop them too. Weapons and armor can be bought from the merchant at the town and the dwarf at the caves. Weapons and armor must be equipped. So if I type go go to the the town. All right, I'm heading heading towards the town. What we got? Oh, we got a wolf. Oh boy. Uh, we gotta we gotta use an item. We gotta use a potion. All right, I drank a potion. Oh boy, he dumped me six damage. Oh, oh my god, I got a I got a I got a critical hit on the wolf. I got a wolf. Oh my goodness, Aiden. Oh, the wolf is wounded. Oh my goodness. We gotta keep on attacking him. Oh, wolf is badly injured now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we are critical hit. I killed the wolf. Yes. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh man, I killed the I killed the wolf. Ah, oh, I feel great. Am I at the town yet? Go to the town. Oh, but I killed the bandit. Thirty-three gold and leather. Nice. So let's search the area. Oh, I found a I found a monster. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Ah, uh, let's use a, another potion. Oh, actually, let's use short sword. I don't know why I can't use it. Sword. I don't, I don't have that, but I do. Alright, let's use our potion now. Drink a potion. Okay, 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 okay. We gotta, okay, we gotta run. We gotta run. We gotta surrender. Oh no, I was killed. Oh, I didn't know. Oh... Just keep on attacking them. We get 35 health. Okay, we killed the wolf. Yes! Alright, uh, go to the town. Oh, I died. What? <laughs> how, do, how do I have 13 gold? I don't think I had any gold. Okay, let's try again. Uh, we're gonna search. Oh, I found a goblin. Okay. Let's disarm him. I took a club from the goblin, okay. Oh, he got a critical on me. Oh my god, I missed him again. I need to I need to find out what um my DEX roll. I need to make sure that 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 dex is high. I killed the goblin! Oh my god, I'm just a pro at this game! I can't escape! No! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh listen! Listen, everybody. Listen, I'm not good at text-based games, but this game is freaking amazing. You know, I'm I may be bad at this game, but this game is really nice. Okay, if you guys can picture everything in your head, I suggest going to download this game. There are three links to it down in the description below, into the links section. I really, really enjoyed this game, even though I kept on dying. I feel like the developer is doing a fantastic job with this game. I just feel like one thing that I saw was that I feel like I should see um, everybody's health. Because I want to know um, what people's health are. If there's a command to let me know what his health is, that would be great. Like, I, I want to know that. But I want to know what his, what the goblin's health is, what the wolf's health health is. But I really enjoy this game. I'm going to be playing this game in my spare time. I'm going to let, be letting you guys know my progress. Because so far, I'm not good at this game. But I haven't played a text-based game before. And I'm not very good at RPGs. So I'm going to build up my skill. And I'm just going to keep on playing and playing and playing this game. So I hope you guys uh, plan on getting this game. It's a totally free game. And you guys can go download it right now and, and play it. It's amazing. But uh, thank you for joining me in today's video, guys. Show this developer some support. And this is APRT123 out. Bye, everybody. Okay, guys. The developer actually asked me to review his game after playing it. So here's my review. I had a lot of fun playing Epic Pros. I feel like it helps if you're very, uh, if you can visualize very well. I visualized the town, the village on fire. I can visualize the creatures inside my head. I even had a little bit of action music going on in the fight scenes. And I loved it. It gave me a very good picture of how things were. It gave me a very good picture of everything around me. And I liked it. I also liked how the gameplay went. You know, I've never played a classic 
text-based game before, and now I know what one really looks like. I mean, it isn't exactly. I mean, all text games are going are going to be different, but this gave me an idea of how a text-based game is, and I kind of like it. You know, it's fantastic. The the style it's played, you have to enter these commands, and it's like a very specific sort of game, very organized. Now there are negatives to this game, uh, especially when it comes to the combat system. Um, the combat system was just recently added in by the developer, so I don't intend, I did not intend the combat system to be perfect. But I did have a problem when it came to using items like the club or the short sword. It said that I do not have the item and that I cannot use the item at that specific time. So that was sort of uh, a downfall because I felt like maybe I could have gotten a couple extra hit points on a creature if I had used one of those items. Another negative on the combat system was how low the hit chance was. I kept on missing or the creature kept on dodging my attack. Uh, and that way the creature would kill me faster than I could kill him. So I found that really, really negative and uh, I could not be stronger than the creature because I could not get past the first or second creature because I would have used all my potions and I still would not be able to attack. Once again, the combat system was just implemented a little while ago, so obviously there's still going to be a little tweaking to be left to do to it, especially on the chance meter. But I do think I will give this game a 7 out of 10. That is a 7 out of 10, because I did have a lot of fun. It's just this one little aspect, the combat aspect, which is, in turn, a huge aspect of the game, but a very fixable aspect that he can, that he can fix, and it'll make the game... Uh, a whole lot better so I hope the developer really listens to this and then focuses his uh, intentions and his work onto the combat system uh, thank you for listening to the review the developer and anybody else who is interested this is APRT123 out bye everybody